what is up everybody thank you very much for just watching really so as promised um, I did some on the community tab on our YouTube page I asked you to ask us any questions I've got a few so uh, without further ado let's just crack on So, uh, a few questions. Uh, this first one um, is from Sarah F. Thanks, Sarah F. You're a star. So, what, if any, has been your best capture and where? And have you both had paranormal experience that made you want to come? Have you. And have you both had paranormal experiences that made you want to become investigation investigators? Well, I can only speak on behalf of myself. Um, Simon is not 100% at the moment, and I did ask him if he wanted to participate, but he's really not very well. You'll hear from Simon shortly. Yeah. So what has been the best capture and where? I think, Probably Dal's Cemetery, which is an abandoned cemetery. Um, I'll put the links to the videos in the description below so you can have a look for yourself. But Dal's, man, could it be explained what we caught? Yeah, it could have been an animal, but this animal must have had. Dr. Martin's on, whatever it was. We were standing in the middle of this area where there's a tree and I invited whoever's here to come forward and from multiple directions, footsteps coming towards us from multiple directions. Um, at the time we only had the one camera, but <laughs> I can't explain that. Right on command asking them to come towards us. Um, yeah. Um, so Dell Cemetery, uh, we'll be going back there soon. Uh, so cheers Sarah F. Um, oh, by the way, um, what personal experiences that made you want to become a paranormal investigator? Up until I started the channel, I'd had no um, paranormal experiences, bar one. And it was when I was a teenager, probably even earlier, uh, there's a place where I used to live, uh, a road where I used to live in Aldridge, a little, a little village called Aldridge in England. And they, I was walking down there, down that road with a couple of people, and I went for a wee up a tree, and um, as you do. And um, there was a guy with a dog, and he never said anything. I said, oh, sorry. You know, quite embarrassed because I had my willy out, my little sleeping policeman. And um, I turned, I looked down and I looked back up and he'd gone. And there was nowhere for him to go. He'd gone, disappeared. That did make me want to become a, an investigator, but it got me into ghost stories and that when I was a kid. But what, what got me into paranormal investigating, like most people in the UK, was a, um, a TV show called Most Haunted. I'll stop with that there rope uh next question from uh cheryl um cheryl 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 king six five four three um what would you like to capture on camera if you could ghost cryptid alien or something else i'd love to capture aliens i'm not gonna lie <laughs> even just a spaceship or something I'd love that um, Bigfoot but in all honesty I want to see a full body apparition in fact what I'd like to see is when we ask for somebody to touch the REM pod I'd like to see whoever is touching the REM pod pick it up and then throw it up against the wall I mean I'll be pissed and I'd have a go at it but it would be brilliant that's what I'd personally 
I just want to. I want to see. I want to see poltergeist activity with my own eyes, and I want to have cameras pointing at it. I want to see clocks melting off walls. So thank you, thank you, Cheryl. Brian Yates, yo, Brian. Um, hi guys. Hello. Question, please. No problem. Um, what are your thoughts on near-death experiences? Man. That's tough. Near death experiences. I mean, people have allegedly had them. Um, could it be a dream? Sometimes when you go to bed at night, you dream about stuff that's either playing on your mind or dream about stuff that's happened during the day. So if you know you're in hospital or if you've been hit by a car or whatever you know you've had an accident of some or whatever your brain knows at that last second before you be knocked unconscious or whatever happened I'm just using that as an example your brain knows some cracking off so your brain will automatically go into some kind of default mode and I don't know it, Whatever I've just said there probably makes no sense. But in my head it did. Maybe I'm having a near death experience. Um, but yeah. I think it's I'd like to think something's there at the end. But personally I think it, I think it's just um, the brain's way of coping. Giving images of being calm and what have you. I don't know. Um, Rufus, um, RU7CD. What is the best evidence of the paranormal you have seen? Seen. Now, see, that's different to captured or anything, but I've seen. Probably that guy I mentioned earlier with his dog. But, I can't remember where I was. Where was I? Ah, right. Just found out where I was. I was at Acton Burnell with Simon and two really good friends of mine, Rory and Sam, from um, a team called Project Entity. And I, we were just, we had chairs and a beer. We were just sitting there taken in the atmosphere of the place because it's a beautiful place and I saw with my own eyes a shadow figure on the other side of the abbey wall walking from uh, from my perspective right to left and to the point where I ran round to try and intercept where they were walking to and Rory went the other way to try and intercept whoever it was in the middle and there was no one there. I saw it, clear as day. We weren't filming, obviously. We were just chilling and chatting, but um, yeah, I've never ran so much in my life to try and catch what I saw. But um, yeah, there was no one there. So that was pretty funky. Baz and Joe, Baz and Joe Hodge, you guys are awesome. Um, so, got a question here from you. What was your first paranormal experience, and what? And um, what was your first paranormal experience, and what was it that got you into it? And what do you think about apps like Spirit Talker and others? What equipment do you prefer using? And finally, where would you both like to do an investigation? You're greedy. I mean, how many questions do you want? Baz and Joe Hodge, if that even is your real name. First paranormal experience, uh, going back, it was a guy with a dog. Um, could it be explained? Possibly. I was young, I don't know. Memories fade over the years, but that is what I saw. I, I, know, I, rem I do remember it. Do I remember it accurately? I think so, because I've been telling exactly the same story. Um, what was it that got you into it? Yeah, most haunted. And then it was during the pandemic and I was watching, um, I binge watched the Ouija Brothers. 
and um, main binge watched during lockdown and um, I thought I'm going to buy a camera do what they do and the rest is history um, what do I think acts like spirit talker and others I mean <laughs> I don't want to get into a flappy debate all I'll say is um, I have belief that some apps are more accurate than others um, I mean the way I see it it's all right people telling you that don't work that don't work that don't work that's been proven it doesn't work there's no point people telling well, there is point people telling you it's up to you I mean these apps cost money um, there are certain apps I won't buy there are certain apps I did buy back in there and I've deleted them um, there are certain apps I would never use it would be unfair of me to say this particular app I won't use I'll just, it would be unfair of me to say that um, I have said it on previous videos but I won't be saying it again um, could it, I think it's just unfair that a lot of YouTubers including myself like certain things and regardless of what people tell you about these apps it, the final decision's yours you're the one that creates the content if you believe in them who, 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 am, who am I to say that, sh that shit that is don't use it it's up to you you go people have said like I said earlier certain apps don't work some apps haven't been proven if they work or don't work a lot of people don't like apps me personally my go-to app is the ghost tube you know I've not been told anything about that particular app I've been told stuff about other apps good and bad things but I like the ghost tube and that's it really I, can't, I have to be careful what I say um, what equipment do you prefer using what equipment do I prefer using I've been doing it a lot lately and the best equipment that I've been using a lot lately is my ears um, the best equipment I've been using lately is my ears um, just standing in silence and calling out and then just listening that's probably the best equipment I've been using recently um, yeah um, where would you both like to do an investigation I mean it's the, it's the states isn't it the big asylums and stuff like that I mean obviously that's what most Brits would say the big asylums um, I mean there are certain places that like the conjuring house for example it's it's been overdone would I like to go hell yeah I would just to experience it um, the Enfield Poltergeist House um, in Enfield um, that I don't, I don't believe anyone's gonna ever probably get to investigate that place but I'd love to get in there and have a look um, yeah that'll be that'll be mine so I've got a few more questions but before that um, got a special message for you and it's from Simon it's still not great but don't take it from me listen to the guy himself it's over to you mate yo what is up YouTube Simon three spies paranormal here um, just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update as you obviously know um, you guys that watch the channel know that I've not been very well lately um, but I'm on the mend and I'm getting there and and then I just get I get this sad sad news that 
Lee's been cheating on me with another man. Um, that's really upset me. Um, purple. <laughs> I mean, what a great addition to the team. And the silliness. It, you know, as serious as me and Lee are on the investigations, you know, we are. Um, but we are silly at the same time. Having purple on the team, it's just going to be extra extra silly <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely hilarious such a fun ride and i just can't wait to get back at it um like i said i really appreciate all your um nice comments and, and well wishes you've been giving me um on the videos you know I've, I've i've read them i'm sorry i haven't responded um but yeah they've really helped me and like I said, I can't wait to get back out there with uh, this new team member. It's going to be a fun, fun ride that you lot don't want to miss. Um, so, yeah, love you all guys. Like I said, thanks for your nice comments. And um, we'll be back out there soon and filming more silly videos for you to watch and enjoy. So, see you later. Also, guys, I just wanted to um, say a massive thank you to the NHS um, nurses and doctors that have looked after me over these last few weeks. Um, what an amazing job they do. Um, so underrated. It's unbelievable. Um, and I really appreciate all the support I've got off of off of everyone um, yeah like I said I'm uh, I'm getting there I'm on the mend and I'm gonna be back out uh, jamming with Liam Parple making silly videos it's what we do right a couple more questions um... What are your thoughts? Oh, so this is from Guy Morgan. Guy Morgan. Cheers, Guy. Um, what are your thoughts on paranormal possession? First thing I think of is Mary Love's Dick. Mary Love's Dick. <laughs> if you're not familiar with that, um, Derek Akora on TV's Most Haunted. Uh, Google it if you've never seen it. Just type in Derek Akora, Mary Loves Dick. We'll just type in Mary Loves Dick and see what happens. Don't do it on your works computer. Um, so yeah, paranormal possession. Um, has it happened in real life? Oh, I don't know. What are my thoughts on it? Honestly, I think some people who have been possessed are very funny. Um, I believe that some people who have been possessed have possibly psychological problems, undiagnosed. Do I believe people have been possessed? There's documentation. Is it something else? We just don't know. And that's the whole point. No, but nobody really knows, I don't think. so. I know it's a bit vague, but they're my thoughts on that. So Kai Evans has been really, really greedy and uh, got more questions. So Kai Evans, with a really important question actually. If you were to spend, if, if you were to, if all to spend an evening in a pub, what would you be drinking and what's your favorite crisp flavor? or potato chip flavour, depending on where you're from in the world. Um, I like Stella Artois. So it would be Stella Artois. Uh, if it was outside in the beer garden during the summer, I do like the um, mixed fruit um, ciders, whatever is available at the time with some ice cubes in it. Just chill, nice. Um, Christmas, I do like a, a whiskey. Um, 
and my brother's normally got some rum I'm really bad at what type of rum it is but I can't remember what it was called but it's nice anyway I tend to only drink spirits at Christmas I don't do spirits any other time of the year really um, that's my favourite uh, potato chip flavour um, that's a good one I really really like um, in the UK they're in tiny bags and they're called fish and chips and they're like little biscuits that one's shaped like like a french fry and the other one is shaped like a, a fish with a head and a tail and they're like little biscuits and they're coated in a salt and vinegar flavoured substance and uh, they come in little tiny bags and they're really tasty um, flavour crisp uh, I love barbecue Pringles um, is there anywhere your your Is there anywhere you'd be scared to revisit alone? Yeah, a couple. Uh, Dal's, Dal Cemetery. Creepy man. Me and Simon are going to be doing it. Uh, we'll probably end up taking Papal there as well. To let him experience it because he's never been. Um, there's a couple of places I would never go. I'll never say never. I'll be dubious about going alone. The Warren House. Even though we didn't get a lot of evidence, it's just creepy. I think it's because it's wide open and anyone could come in and I'm more scared of people than I am of spirits, so. Yeah, Dale Cemetery, 100%. Just trying to to think, there's a couple of, I'll, I'll finish this and I'll go, oh shit, yeah, there's that. But number one for me is Dale's, Dale Cemetery place is creepy man it's just got a vibe um, another one from Kate do you like pineapple on pizza I don't mind it I know that's quite controversial but I don't mind it sorry um, do you like crispy chicken skin yeah who doesn't that's obvious yeah man I'd buy a chicken just to have the skin off it um, is the one personality trait that really gets your goat? <laughs> Unpoliteness. People who are unpolite. Um, please, thank yous, excuse me's. And you, um, yeah, that annoys me. Um, somebody said it on a live, and I can't remember what live it was on. It was it was par Parples or Beardos Live and I can't remember whose it was though and I was like that is me down to a T and that is when you're in a supermarket and somebody like stands in front of you or something or reaches in over you to try and get something the mate personal space man it's just rudeness I hate rude people um, I'm the first person to go, right, if I let somebody through and they just walk off and I will I'd say it loud enough and I'll go, you're welcome. Um, I know I'm not the only one in that. Uh, Bella, uh, Bella ass, Bella I, or Ghost Reel. Hello Bella. Um, what's now about, what, what's my favourite fabric softener? In fact, um, Sarah G asked um, as well the same question favorite 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 fabric softener let's go and have a look so I'll just quickly run down to the kitchen and that's my fabric softener there are others you don't have to buy that one um, yeah it's nice there you go uh, that is my fabric softener. Um, B25 girl, have you ever come across something living in a location that was not supposed to be there 
If so, what did you guys do? Not come across anybody living in a building that we've gone into or a place that we've gone into. We have been in a building and the owner of an adjacent property came into the building and basically was really shitty with us at, at the start and then what are you doing here get out me and Simon were like okay <laughs> but um the guy was cool after we explained to him what we were doing and the guy was cool um with that um so yeah we just the best thing to expect like i said earlier it's just being polite if someone comes in like that then i'll be like all right mate all right take a step back let's talk about it and let's just be nice and if the guy doesn't want to be nice and continues then we'll get a bump on the nose Boop. although i don't condone violence but if someone's getting in my face or tries to damage the equipment they're going down poppy f <laughs> poopy face tomato nose <laughs> I love that. That's real. Boxer briefs or a boxer dog wearing briefs. <laughs> um, <coughs> um, I wear boxer briefs. Um, and I would really like to see a boxer dog wearing briefs. There's a cut little hole at the back for its tail. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Um, and DJ X Lovey, DJ Lovey, as one of your new sexy subscribers, I don't know if you've answered this before, but what made you believe in ghosts? If you are one who fully believes. See, that's another good question because do I fully believe? I mean, I've seen a couple of things that I can't explain. But I think I want more. I want to see, I want more evidence. There are a couple of things that I've seen that I personally cannot explain. So it's unexplainable, so it's paranormal. That's really, it's really tough, really. But what got me into the paranormal, I've just mentioned probably it was, um, seen that guy when I was a kid it could have been a ghost it could have been just a dude um, most haunted TV show and what got me into investigating was the Ouija brothers um, those guys are pretty awesome got a lot of time for those guys um, so yeah and that's all the questions that I've, I've got um, I'll probably do these more often. They're, they're pretty fun answering questions um, like that. It's pretty fun. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, we'll be back filming out very, very soon with um, our new partner in crime, Parple. Um, if you've not seen him, you don't know who he is, the link is in the description below. So go and check it out. Go and subscribe and say you came from um, Three Spars Paranormal and it'll make him very, very happy. Um, so without any further ado, um, thank you. Thanks for all your questions, it's been fun answering them and um, I hope I've answered them honestly and as truthfully as I possibly can. Be nice to people out there, it's just a nice thing to do, be polite. And um, I'm going to have a Stella Artois and some barbecue Pringles. Bye now. Shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know